Welcome back to another video. This is Ali Asal, and today we're going to be looking at the updated 2.2 body Alice from Signature. Unfortunately, I did not have this body prior to the update, so I won't be able to compare uh, what were the changes from the one prior to this one. I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that it didn't have the Bakes on Mesh button. But I might be wrong. So I uh, nonetheless, I'm going to go over it with you guys. I personally am amazed by how beautiful this body is. And it's uh, very, very amazingly well done. I decided to come to the beach to give you guys a little bit of a relaxing uh, background, even for myself personally. So I hope that you guys are doing well. And with that, let's get right to the signature hide, which I already have here. Actually, you know what? Let me go into inventory and uh, show you, like always, what you guys get in the folder. First two things are note cards. You're going to be getting your body 2.2, along with your feet and hands and the HUD that we're gonna be going over. Um, you also get your shape, um, two feet heights, the one for feet, uh, tiptoes, and the ones for flat. Uh, you also get uh, body physics for this Alice, specifically for the breast belly and as well as your butt. Um, and you also like most uh, bodies, they actually give you a bra and a panty and they come with huds for the textures for the undies and the bra itself. And of course, you always get your alpha masks, um, the ones that are big on mesh and the ones that aren't. Uh, I'm not wearing them because I'm completely big on mesh from head to toe. So that's it for the, for the folder, you guys. And then we're going to get right to the... HUD. So one simple feature on this HUD are these top two buttons which resize your HUD which I love. Um, a lot of us do need it actually so this is why you see it pretty big. Um, you can make it as small as you want or you can make it as big as you want and this is extremely helpful for a lot of people. So the first tab here is this one down below. It looks like a little puzzle and it's all of your body parts where you can hide them either individually uh, like I'm doing on my belly or you can do it by sections which means you can click on one section of your part for example your upper leg left leg or right leg and it'll completely hide it for you like that which is so much easier than doing it one by one um, same at the bottom, same with your arms, your back. Well, you can't see. <laughs> Let me do the front. There we go. Uh, when it comes to your breast, it'll do it uh, individually, but all of it. Or again, you can go by parts and then just click one by one. And the middle section where it says fingernails and toenails, right, left, right, left. It means you can hide them. So I'm going to cam really quick close as close as I can to my nails and if you see me clicking on the left it'll hide them and it'll only hide that one and see my other hand right here still has the nails um well <laughs> she decides to move her hand whatever I need to show you guys well let me show you the front there we go um and I'll click right and it'll hide them but I like my fingernails so I'm going to unhide them. There we go. And it's the same thing for your toenails. So the next one is the obvious uh, saving alpha slots, which means you can save your outfits here with the specific uh, alpha sections that you've chosen. So you don't have to go back. And if you have a difficult outfit where you have to hide certain tiny parts, you can just go to a slot, click on it and just press save and it'll save it but I don't have anything here so it'll turn orange I'm gonna click oh there it goes that was my previous one and <laughs> when I clicked on one it showed it to you but you can click on clear preview and it'll erase that 
Next is the layers and you'll see tattoo underwear and clothes. I have it on the tattoo right here because I wanted to show you how this works. Um, most of the new updated uh, hides in any body, any shape body is that it's the cool part where you can wear tattoos. Um, you buy them and they are covered from head to toe, but you only want to show uh, certain sections of your tattoo. You can do that now. So I already have mine on. You do have to have your tattoo layer on for it to work. So for example, I'm going to unhide everything and show you my tattoo. And my tattoo comes like this. So there's not just one sleeve or just the front section or anything. So what you do is if you just want your arms to be showing, you click on your body, uh, your torso and it'll height the torso tattoo. And that goes for your back as well. Um, well, my hair is hiding it, but the tattoo also goes all the way to my back and it hides the back as well. Um, and you do that the same for your arms. If you just want it in one arm, you, you hide the, uh, certain arm that you want clear as well as your torso and then i just have one c same thing goes from the for the bottom but i don't have any tattoos on my legs <laughs> so i couldn't show you but you do get the idea next one is for your underwear and your clothes those are pretty self-explained um the next one is the settings um this is where your big on mesh button is so I am completely baked on mesh right now. So if you click on the baked on mesh button, I don't know if you guys can see this little box over here, but it says activate, deactivate, and cancel. If you click on activate, it enables your baked on mesh to use your system layers. And if you click on deactivate, it disables baked on mesh and you can continue to use your appliers like you've been doing so uh, prior to baked on mesh. So I'm going to deactivate it. And you can already see my body underneath. It's still, um, there we go. I had a much darker skin. <laughs> but if I click on Big Sun Mesh again, I click activate. And voila. The auto hide, it's the built in auto hide system for clothes. And you either can turn it on or off. The ankle lock, of course, you already know what that is. You can Click it on or off. You have a button for your instructions and a teleport link to the store. You can also delete all of the scripts. Make sure that you have another copy of this if you do. Fingernails, pretty, pretty self-explained. You get your square, um, short ones, medium and large, as well as your almond. I believe I'm wearing the short almond. Yes, I am. And they go up to pretty, pretty pointy. Um, let's see if she doesn't move her hand. There we go. And I have the blurring option. I probably should have taken that off. <laughs> it looks, there we go. It's a little better. Um, and then of course the, that is up to you, however you want your nails, but that is a pretty cool option that you guys have because you don't have to keep purchasing, um, certain types of nails unless you want them longer than the usual long section of this part of this hide next is your feet you guys this is also really cool now you have quite a few options from very flat to from flat to extremely pointy ballerina style i'm going to click on that there we go and that looks painful <laughs> Great for pictures. Um, and the other cool thing is that you can choose if you see the little R and the L stands for right and left. If you want your left foot to be ballerina style, you click on that. And if you want your other foot to be flat style, then you click on the right. And there you go. And you can mix and match all of that for pictures. I'm going to just leave it on flat. Same thing for hands. Uh, you have all of these poses. If you own a mesh body, you already know what this is all about. I can give you an example. I just clicked the right one for a, um, it's so funny that she moves her hands 
just when I need to show them. <laughs> so I'm going to turn off. There we go. You can see her doing a fist because I just clicked on the right hand and for her to do a fist and then the... <laughs> Even at that, she'll start hiding them. And then <laughs> the last one, she'll give you the middle finger possibly. Let's, there we go. And if you can use those for um, pictures and so on, or if you like to walk around with just uh, certain hand gestures, you can. I'm actually gonna do motion for the left and right, which means they'll be moving around like they, they have been previously. Use third party AO means that they'll just over ride the uh, hand gestures like mine is from my angle your next tab is your third one and it's layers to tint very specific you can tint your skin skin shine fingernails toenails tattoos underwear and your clothes and this is all the section that you'll be using skin effects it's pretty cool let me see if i could actually show right now oh actually the glossiness is pretty low so these are the glossiness sliders. I'm going to put it all the way up as well as the intensity. All right, there we go. You guys, I'm really sorry I crashed. So I don't think that I have everything back to where it was. I think I do. Um, anyways, it took me a little bit uh, to come back and um, regroup where I was. But <laughs> we left under skin effects and I do have it under the wet tab. Um, which is what's going to give you this shiny look and the wet look like uh, water is trink trinkling is that the word trinkling down your body you can see it on her legs i love that it's really really subtle unlike other uh, ones that i've seen it's really wet all over the place and this is gives it a more natural look um if you do have a mesh head your mesh heads most likely also have the wet look um under the head so if you want to do a complete look for a picture or for a video it looks spectacular um the other one next to the water droplets is the shiny which I'm going to show you guys right here. And it's just another wet uh, look. And the first one is just a more subtle wet look if it changes. Um, because again, I'm having internet issues. Uh, there we go. I think that's what it is. Um, I actually do like to keep a little bit of shine on her body. So I lower her um intensity as well as her glossiness and it just gives her that shiny look or that highlighted look underneath is skins and it has obviously gives you all of these tones and they give you the default a fit look or a thin look next is nails you have a fingers tab and a toes tab you can click on fingers and be able to change a color just for the fingernails and specifically and then if you want another color for your toes you can just click on the toes and change the color on that one to a different one other than the same one as your fingers which is pretty cool as well we have reached the last tab you guys and it is a texture drop box i have no idea what this does well i know what it does but i don't know how to use it i don't think I've, i'll ever use it but you can drag and drop your textures here that you can do yourself and it does give you the destination layers for your body tattoos underwear and all that as well as your body parts and your apply to body um, button but i'm not going to be playing with that anytime soon i don't think um, but for those of you that do know this and are knowledgeable it is actually pretty cool for you guys to go ahead and have fun with that i think that is it for this body you guys again i am absolutely in love with it it is a gorgeous body i am very thankful that creators are coming up with the clothing for this body it was very much needed it wasn't so well um, a few months back but everything's gotten better so i will see you guys later if you guys have any questions just let me know down below otherwise talk to you guys later bye bye